Welcome back to the CityCloud OpenStack basic training program. In this series, you will learn how to master the basics of CityCloud OpenStack. You will learn how to create servers, load balancers, and volumes, as well as managing your IP addresses, your networks, and your security groups. In this episode, we're going to take a look at some common actions when managing your servers in CityCloud OpenStack. We're back in the City Control Panel dashboard, the administration interface of CityCloud OpenStack. Expand the Servers section in the menu and click on the List Servers button. This is an overview of your servers in the three data centers that CityCloud OpenStack have available at the moment. Each server and its data resides in the chosen data center and only in that data center. Make sure you're aware of the data protection laws of the countries in which you choose to store your data. When working with a server in CityCloud OpenStack, you can find the most common actions by clicking the little wheel on the right. All resources in CityCloud OpenStack are charged when allocated. Storage in CityCloud OpenStack servers is always persistent, and what this means is that we never release your disks when rebooting, stopping, or pausing a server. This also means that you will always be charged for storage, even when your server is stopped or paused. The difference between stopping and pausing a server is that stopping is equal to shutting down, and pausing is equal to hibernation or sleep mode when compared to physical servers. When a server is paused, all resources, including CPU and ROM, is still allocated to the server. When stopping a server, you release CPU and ROM and only keep the storage. Public IP addresses in the Cloud OpenStack are called floating IPs, and they can be attached and detached to and from any server. When creating this particular server, we chose not to attach a floating IP. If we decide to do so at this point, we just click the Connect Floating IP button. If you have floating IPs in your pool, you can choose to connect them to the server. This account doesn't, so we have to create a new one. Cloning is another great tool to use when you need to do some horizontal scaling, or if you need a server similar to the one you have spent time building. Just hit clone to get started. When you clone a server, a temporary snapshot is created in the process and is kept as a backup unless you choose otherwise. Rescue mode is a nifty little feature if something should happen to your system disk. When you put a server into rescue mode, it will create a new system disk using the initial image and the original configuration that was used when the server was created. The server's original system disk will be mounted as a secondary disk. This allows you to boot the operating system and access a broken system disk to repair or extract content from it. Thank you for joining this episode of the CityCloud OpenStack basic training program. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, feel free to post your questions in the comments below and we'll see you next time.